All right, ladies and gents, and everybody else, it's time for more of the quarry. I played this for five hours yesterday. We got a good Terran. He's creepy. Look how he's looking. Oh, it's creepy. Why does he have... Wait a minute. He has, like, no... His eyes are fully dilated. <laughs> Looks like he's on, on drugs. Look at his face. <clears throat> oh, my God. Anyway, um... Five hours in, all right? I've already given my thoughts about this last night and also on my pre-stream today. I'm not going to go into it again. I just want to kind of continue on now with the game. And I hope that you guys <clears throat> will continue to hang with me and chill as we see how the story unfolds. I hope that there's more horror today for sure. Let's do it. All good? Yes. All good? I did leave them standing there all night. They stood there for, for a good, like, 14 hours, 15 hours. They were just standing outside this cabin. <clears throat> That's how much I care about these characters. <laughs> oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is, so... I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Jesus, he's very sensitive. Very sensitive All snowflake. Right. Give him a gentle touch. <clears throat> Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so... I think the range is about... a mile. <clears throat> I don't think it'll help, or how do you know this stuff? How do you know this stuff? How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just <clears throat> kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech... Technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Sign me up, teach. Like climbing, huh? Is Anyways, climbing this easy? Anyways, need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. That's magic. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but. It's worth giving a shot. Welcome, El Grey Zoro. You can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. They're okay. seriously... Okay. Are they the most disinterested cast ever? Don't they seem like this is the most boring, blasé, normal conversation? Like, this... I feel like <clears throat> I'd be at my old office job. And I would walk up to someone's desk, and I'd be like, Hey, how you doing? And the guy would be like, Hey, what's going on, Phil? What are you up to? Oh, I'm working on this TPS reports. Oh, okay. Remember, they changed the format of those TPS reports. You know. Do the right thing today. Oh, yes. Okay. All right, by the way, you know, what do you think about the new change that they're doing over in the shipping department? Oh, you know, I think I like... Like, that's what it sounds like. There, There's no urgency in their voice. There's no emotion in their voice. They sound like they're so disinterested with what they're doing. And this is supposed to be like a life or death situation. They're being attacked by mutated freaks. There's hunters coming after them. What What should I say? Eh, uh, you know, make it sound urgent. Like the opposite of how we're talking right now. Make it sound important. Because this conversation is not. That's literally what it sounds like. Like, <clears throat> where's the direction of, of the person who was directing this game saying, okay, you're being hunted by people. You may die any moment. 
you, you get on that loudspeaker and you have to make a like what is going on right <clears throat> this is so weird to me anyway I don't think I read this yet calling all hacketeers this is your wake up call the radio hut situated right behind the cabins is our way of sticking to schedule whether it's activity time roll call or dinner our campers are always kept aware of the goings on at the camp after all an informed camper is a happy camper all right Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, w uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident, attack, some stuff bad here. What the fuck? We need your help. Uh, <laughs> there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in the desperate need of help. So please, uh, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do. So please uh, come help us. SOS. Uh, this is uh, an emergency. S save our ship. Come on down. Please help us. Yeah, I do good. Was that swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears, but. Oh my god! Right, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything back. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie. Stuff. Who wrote this shit? Ah! Oh! Okay, yeah, sure. Pain! Agony! Hello, Derek. No, we cannot switch to Skyrim, Snow Carl. We have to play this game. Look, it's a bear! A bear! A vicious bear! Check it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to. Wait, did he, did he say lodge? I don't know. Hold on. Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Um. <laughs> they finally found their radio channel. That's totally us. Holy shit, they're talking about us. How? Because we just told them on the fucking radio. <laughs> I guess you did. I know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. <laughs> Hey, let's let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, a bear! Look out! A vicious swarm of bears! Why didn't you tell me there was something out there? Apology. Why would you say fuck you? I, I I wasn't sure, man. Fuck! What the fuck was that? I have no idea. God, is it a bear? <clears throat> Why would I fire? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, get, get into the cabin now. Go! 
shit. Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. Path updated. Oh my god, I hope something happens soon. This is the most boring horror game ever. It really is. So she left her backpack in the lodge kitchen. Caitlin, Abby, and Nick were able to hide in the cabin without alerting the creature. <clears throat> so... How... How do my choices lead to this, exactly? Right? Like, I'm very confused... Because, so, originally at the beginning of the game, they go into this cabin. You choose to go, and you could have ignored it. You choose to go into the cabin. Then you explore inside the cabin. <clears throat> you grab a toy. She ends up leaving her backpack at the lodge kitchen. And then they were able to get into the cabin. So what I, okay, now I think it's making more sense. If they hadn't broken down the door earlier in the game, when it was safe, the door would be locked right now. And they would have to get into the cabin by breaking the door down, which would alert the creatures, and then they'd be in danger. But because earlier in the game you broke the door down when it was safe, now they're able to easily get into the cabin with no repercussions. So that's good, I guess. That was a good choice earlier in the game. However, I have no idea what the toy and leaving her backpack in the lodge kitchen has to do with anything. If I don't know if it'll ever have an impact. It seems kind of odd, but <clears throat> I guess... Now, who would have thought that, right? Who would have thought that opening that door earlier in the game would have actually turned into something good at this point? Not me, but cool, I guess. All right. What now? Yeah, now you're stuck in there with those creatures. <clears throat> anything we can do? Is there anything we can do? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off? Uh, well, it, yeah, I mean, if it, if it has hearing like a dog, maybe, it, we, we can play like a, like a really high-pitched feedback loop and just blast it, and, and, I mean, it would hurt like hell, but, you know. All right, try it. See what happens. Do it. Try something. Okay. <clears throat> okay, come on, Dylan. Let's do this. Okay. Come on. It's almost. Take a breath. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah. Right. There's something missing. I do. What's missing? Oh crap. It pulled the wire. <laughs> Fix it. I'll cover you. Do it now. Go quickly. Shotgun or chainsaw? Uh, uh, I, how are you going to shoot his arm off with a shotgun? That doesn't even make sense to me. How would you do it with a shotgun? Doesn't even make sense.
Chainsaw! Are you sure? Yes, fucking do it! Fucking do it! Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Just a flesh bar. wound. What? Get the bar. The thing, get it. On it. Plug it, plug it into the thing. Uh, keep pressure on it. Uh. Oh my god. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to make it through this game. I don't know if I'm going to make it through this game at this point. I was trying to understand what just happened. So, they're in a cabin. Alright? They're safe. They're in a cabin. There's a wire, maybe going between the boards of the cabin, that was pulled up. And he says, oh, the wire got pulled out. Right? So, I need to fix the wire. So, he reaches up. He's going to pull the wire down. Magically, his hand got sucked through the roof of the cabin. And the creature bit him. He lands on the ground. He knows somehow there is a raging infection in his hand that's spreading into his body. And he says, cut my hand off. How does he know this? Exactly. Um. So now, spur of the moment, they make the decision to remove his hand. The game gives you a choice between a shotgun or chainsaw. How the fuck would you remove his hand with a shotgun? Exactly. I, a shotgun is not a surgical weapon. Okay? Like, in, in a two-minute time span, there's so much bad writing that I don't... Oh, my God. M Doyle 99 has to me $50. Thank you so much, M Doyle. He says, I've been a long time viewer of your content. I don't usually contribute. So here's a little bit that says, keep up the great work. Thank you to M Doyle for a very generous contribution. Let's get that on the leaderboard here. Let's get the... My mouse is not working yet again. Uh, M Doyle, apologies. Normally, normally, I would react differently to a very large contribution. But I don't think I can even think straight right now. I mean, we're only like 15 minutes into the game today. And already, I'm like, some of the worst writing ever. <clears throat> the absence of er any kind of acting. Um, and then the most nonsensical situation I think I've ever seen. <clears throat> how, no, how did he get pulled by his hand through the roof of the cabin and get infected? I don't understand what just happened. And then how did he know that there was a raging infection that was so serious in his hand that they immediately needed to amputate it? I'm... I'm... I don't get it. <clears throat> I just don't understand what... Jabor says maybe it's magic. Like I don't I don't understand what just happened. And this is obviously a critical plot point, right? Down the rabbit hole. So <clears throat> Dylan was bitten by the creature when trying to hook up the feedback loop. How? You can't even see it. Like you can't even see what's happening. His hand is is just here. There's a roof above him with no creature, yet he's being bitten by the creature. I, what the fuck is going on? Derek says, what weapon would I, you have used to replace the shotgun? Like, maybe if they had, like, um... Oh, shit, look. <sighs> we got another new plot here. But anyway. 
No, like, shotgun shouldn't even be an option. It doesn't make sense. It should be like there's a, a knife, a, like a, a serrated knife or something, or the chains. You know, you have some gruesome options, but the shotgun is not going to stop what they're, they're talking about. If you sever the hand, okay, maybe there's a chance you'll stop the infection from spreading the blood. If you blow the hand into pieces, that doesn't guarantee anything. It's a waste of time. And ammo, by the way. <clears throat> okay, now, let's see what this says. Helping hand. Go out on a limb. What's worse than risking life and limb? Choosing between the two. Polish off those history books and delve into some medieval health care when a friend asks you to lend a hand. So, here you go. Ryan decided to sever Dylan's hand. Ryan used the chainsaw to sever Dylan's hand. <clears throat> oh, shit! It says Groovy Tool Company on the chainsaw. Did you see that? Groovy. That is a direct Evil Dead slash Army of Darkness reference. Ash, eat your heart out. That's cool that there's an Evil Dead reference. The scene makes absolutely no sense. All right. But, uh... I like the Evil Dead reference. Let's continue. What do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. And how is his hand not squirting blood everywhere? Right? He didn't, they didn't, they didn't cauterize the wound. There's no, you know, they didn't burn it to, to cut off those open arteries and veins. There should be blood going, you know. Why is he okay? Forget it. Oh, he blew the speaker. Uh, it did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> oh, fuck my hand. Right, right, right. Okay. Oh. Just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, it was a bad idea. Yeah, exactly. He's not losing blood. He's not in shock. He's not dying. He's fine. That's how it happens. If you use a chainsaw on someone's limb, they're just perfectly fine afterward. Didn't you guys know that? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. That thing's gone, but we heard those hunter guys on the radio. What? Picked up their walkie signal. They knew we were here. Fuck, you get a message out? I'm not sure anyone heard it. <sighs> Great. He's up and walking fine on? with one hand. Oh Only even addressing it. Tell me what happened. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> oh, um, I'm okay. I, I, I mean, I'm not. Um, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't. Doesn't hurt. What? You're in shock. Holy fucking shit. Uh. Did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It... Caitlin. Where's your gun? I don't even know how to I respond to this game. The friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who the fuck is that? Who's there? Whoa, is that the girl from the intro? It is, isn't it? That's the girl from the prologue. Who was she? Should we follow her? That's definitely the girl from the prologue. She only has one eye. Holy shit. Dylan, what is that? <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> it's a body. So did she kill a person or did she kill a creature? And when the creature dies, it reverts back to a normal human body, right? <clears throat> I don't know. So now we know that she's alive. I thought she was gone or kidnapped or something. She's part of the plot. Okay. <clears throat> Now they play this music? For now? If I was a, if I was a hipster, oh, I'd let you chop off my hand, baby. And I would not bleed because that's the plot. <laughs> no pain 
and absolutely no problems. You know what? Why don't you chop off my foot while you're at it, too? Oh, yeah. What the fuck? <clears throat> oh, you're back. Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. <laughs> oh, my God. The Hermit. <sighs> Here we have the Hermit. With the Hermit comes isolation, loneliness, but reflection, too. Perhaps in some thought, the Hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety. But that all depends on your actions, not his. Derek says that the girl... From the beginning of the game, the prologue, her name is Shaban Williams. Oh, I don't know who that is. I want to show you <clears throat> more. Would that be all right? Yeah, I guess so. Thank you to the bear for a tip. I'll read that in a second, but first we got to see this prediction. It's going to happen. Oh, what's his name? I forgot all, forgot all about Jacob. I totally forgot about him. Uh-oh, Lance Henriksen's coming into play. <clears throat> we spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Great. So the bear to me, $4.20, says, shut up and let me sing. <laughs> shut Everyone shut up. We want to hear the bear singing in the woods. Why don't you guys be quiet? All right, we beat chapter five. I can't believe we survived it. Now we're in chapter six, prayers by night. <clears throat> I can't believe we're still alive. Emma! Like us, not them, us playing this. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's watch that. Let's watch that tarot card now that it's not in the crystal ball. <clears throat> Bear trap. Oh, that sucks. So it's the hunters. Yep, the hunters catch him with a bear trap. I wonder if there's a way to avoid the bear trap. This is the pool pool house is where they all are. Beside our state-of-the-art swimming pool stands our pool house, allowing campers the privacy required to dry off and get dressed after splashing around in the pool. With lockers to safely store their belongings, campers can jump right in. <clears throat> and now here we have paths. Helping hand. So Ryan severed his hand, used the chainsaw. Dylan's infection stopped spreading as a result of using that. So maybe if you had chosen to not chop off the hand or if you'd used the shotgun, it wouldn't have worked. But apparently it worked because we used the chainsaw. <clears throat> That's what it says. I agree there, Nico. Nico says, the actors seem decent. The problem is the dialogue and the direction. Yeah. The di it's, it's Obviously, it's the director's fault. The director needs to tell these actors what to do. And it seems like a lot of the times it's just like, yeah, just read this dialogue. Like you gotta tell them exactly how to talk. You know, are they are they <clears throat> worried? Are they excited? What's going on? They're just kind of walking around like it's a drama. This is not a drama. It's a horror. Okay, Derek says, "Where's David Arquette's character?" David Arquette's character, he walked on screen. He said about ten lines. He drove away inexplicably. It doesn't make sense that he left them there by themselves. And he took his paycheck, and he's not coming back. I don't think he's ever coming back. I think he's out of the game forever. <laughs> Seriously. I don't think he's coming back. <clears throat> the voodoo woman plays Laura Palmer's mom in Twin Peaks. Oh, really? I don't... I'd have to go back and rewatch Twin Peaks. It's been a while. Jabor says, I wonder if the actors even knew they are in a horror game or if they think they're in a sitcom or something. <laughs> huh. Battle Duck says, maybe that's how David Arquette actually left the set, too. <laughs> he just jumped in his car, drove away. He took his paycheck, he jumped in his car, drove away, never to be heard from again. Yikes. All right, we're going to resume. Good Lord. All right, back to this fucking idiot. Jeez. Sucks ass. Jacob. Uh oh. Now he hears his name. So far it was only Dylan. Now Jacob hears Emma, it. Emma, is that you? <clears throat> yes, it's definitely Emma. Sounds just like her. 
Is he gonna step on the bear trap? We don't know where the bear trap is. So, that's not good. Obviously, I would like to avoid the bear trap if possible. They don't let you go down the staircase. Nope. Can't go this way? No. You have to go up these stairs. <clears throat> okay. Oh my god. Derek says, the last time we saw Deva Arcade on TV was wrestling. Coming up against the Miz. Oh my god. <clears throat> this game is very anti-bear, if you didn't notice. Everyone's blaming the bears for everything, even though there's no bears that did anything wrong. <clears throat> Yeesh. I'm gonna fall off this. Foreboding. No. Sounds foreboding to me. It's also dark as shit out here. I know a lot of people have been saying the game looks too dark. Um, I'm honestly not sure what I can do about that. <clears throat> um... What do you think about that? <clears throat> Want to try it? Want to try it? See if this uh, helps? Unpause so you can see. Better? You know, maybe I, maybe this is just something I should have done a long time ago, because a lot of people do say that dark parts of my games look very dark, right? <clears throat> so maybe this is something I should have done, you know, ages ago. What do you think? Looks okay, you can see now. The bear took another dollar fifty says it's a goddamn bear spiracy. <laughs> This bear is very upset. I agree. The bear is being mistreated. <clears throat> They're calling these creatures bears. They're not bears. Bears are getting a bad rap in this game. Looks perfect. I probably should have done this way earlier, not only for this playthrough, but all of my playthroughs. Because people always say that the bright stuff looks fine, but the dark scenes look way too dark. So maybe this is just something I should have done earlier. I've done it now. So hopefully this looks good now. <clears throat> Look out, there's a bear trap here. Footprint. Well, that bodes ill. Fucking hell. What, the size of the footprint? The size of the footprint bodes ill. Astronaut did a super chat and says, I can see the game now. <clears throat> can you guys all see it now? I apologize. Maybe I should have done this much earlier. You know what it is? That's usually not an issue in most games, right? It's only very few games where it's a problem. And this is just, in particular, this is one of them, right? <clears throat> All right. I'm glad you guys can see now. I hope you enjoy. It'll feel like your eyes are open now, watching the playthrough. A camera? Whose camera is this? <clears throat> A digital camera. A memory card. Evidence collected. The memory card from a broken and dirty camera lost in the woods. But you can't see what's on it. That sucks. We got a lot of evidence so far. We haven't got... Whatever the first piece of evidence was, we missed it. Outside of that, we've gotten every other piece. So this is good, I guess. <clears throat> huh. Maybe there's something on here. And where are you going to keep that? Where's he put... Wait. No, no, no. Where's he putting it? Where did you put it? You don't have pockets. Where did he put the memory card? Come on. Where did he put it? I want to know where it is. 
How how hard can he clench those cheeks? <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> it's obvious they want you to go that way. But what's over here? Anything? Yo, it's so dark. So, I know it's dark, guys. It's dark for me, too. I can't see anything. Justice! <clears throat> Justice and eye for an eye. Not exactly, in some cases, but cause and effect, actions and consequences. There's a balance to everything, and we all play a part in making sure the scales aren't tipped. There you go. Oh, he put it in his kangaroo pouch. Ah! Oh, who knew? I didn't know he was Australian. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't, I forgot that all Australians have kangaroo pouches. Thanks for reminding me. <clears throat> I mean, the insinuation is he shoved it up his ass. What else would he have done with it? But he didn't do any clenching or like. Urgh! So I don't know. It's somewhere. Oh boy, the ghost. Whoa. He's gonna run to the bear trap. Watch. Yup, he's gonna walk right into the bear trap. Right now. Or not. Oh, God, Ella. Ah, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Startled. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. My. Life. Okay, you scared me. Jacob. You okay? I guess you could call it that. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Where? How? Why? Sorry, I'm just... All the questions. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie? <laughs> okay. Maybe we're um, in one. <clears throat> well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? Oh, don't be a dick. You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear. Well, you're right. You're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mm, got quite the funky bouquet. <laughs> no offense. Um, okay. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, <clears throat> Sherlock. You know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Apologetic or defensive? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. Does it matter? <laughs> like it fades out and comes back. I know exactly. Two bad choices. I don't want him to be a, a you know a wimp. At the same time, I don't know. Does it matter? I don't like him anyway. <clears throat> Let's make him a puss. Let's make him a puss. Shit. Okay, you know what? You're right. Okay? You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, you're so annoying. Oh my god, can we please not do this right now? Okay, seriously? I literally came looking for you as soon as I heard there was something out here. Or things? Like plural? Wait, really? <clears throat> <clears throat> I swear her lips want to rip off her face and start dancing in the air. They don't look right. Run! Oh no. Creature? Oh yeah, there's a creature. This is how he steps in the bear trap. Oh boy. And they have no way to defend themselves. I guess they're werewolves. I guess they look like werewolves. Right? Sorry! Sorry! Hide. Oh. 
Here we go. Wow, that's a dumb creature. Walked right by him. Oh shit! A pig's head. What is this? Tra oh, bear traps everywhere. Look, he's surrounded by bear traps. <clears throat> so this is supposed to be a trap for them, for the creature. He stepped in it. There was no way for me to stop it. What an idiot! Pry it open. There was no way for me to stop that. It was scripted. Oh, fuck! Ah, uh, 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 shit! Uh, uh, uh. Didn't work, I guess. Uh, uh, uh. Look, you could. Uh. So this was this was gonna happen no matter what. I think that had to happen. There was no way out of that. Because that's the premonition we saw. <clears throat> Distraction. Jacob didn't distract the hunter. The hunter poured blood on his face. Ryan heard a rustling in the bushes and doesn't shoot. And Jacob is captured by the hunters. I think that was all had to happen. Because there was no way to avoid those bear traps. You were just destined to get stuck. If you pulled your foot, you would have just destroyed it. And you would have been fucked and bleeding out and shit. So, I think that was the only way to do it. What's up, Yoshino Lover? What's going on, man? <clears throat> Derek, obviously the thing I know David Arquette from is Scream. The Scream series. But that's about it. Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. Should we do something? What can we do? She's dead. I mean, with the body. Who is she? That's Haley Hackett. <clears throat> oh. Is she daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh, she got mutated into one of the creatures. A werewolf. Look, I think they're werewolves oh, now. man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. Whoa. Intervene. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. Whoa. Uh. Nick, what do you... I want to taste you. Whoa. Hey. Come here. Oh, Nick, what the hell? Uh, you better stop off. him. Oh, watch out. I said get off. Oh, my God. He's right in the pool. The bloody pool. <clears throat> Are you okay? I just wanted him to stop. Here we go with the weird water again. Dude. <clears throat> Come for Ab don't help him. Come for Abby. Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm okay. I got you. I got you. Uh. <laughs> what did I do? She appreciates your support. What did you do? Nothing. He's mutating. I... I don't know. <gasps> He's so cold. Okay, uh, let's <laughs> get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think that it's, it's werewolves. They're getting, they're getting turned into werewolves. And so the kids, Mr. H's kids got turned into werewolves too. And so she's the, the, the woman who's the surviving from the prologue somehow survived and she's out here trying to survive and killed one of them. But they revert back to human form when they die. There's the family photo. Kaylee's dead. However happy they once were, that's all changed now. There you go. 
So maybe the two werewolves out here are his kids, right? Because there's at least two of them. Maybe that's what it is. And then the further people who get infected, they turn as well. Could be. <clears throat> Aren't witches deadly afraid from water for this exact reason? Witches. <laughs> yes, the water does look awful. I agree. Just try to rest. I don't know what's up with the water in this game. It looks bizarre. I'm sorry. moving so much it's pretty clean from what I could tell I mean it's not bleeding but you need to see a doctor how, it, how is it a clean cut like that I don't understand <laughs> I just don't get it the chainsaw was a clean cut this is cut. all I've got left from the nurse's station Ooh, fun. you better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off we need to be keeping a record of everything <clears throat> that happens for the police yeah Dead girl in the pool it needs some explaining, huh? Easy, man. I mean, like photos, whatever we can. Why does he not wipe his I've face? He's got blood all over it. not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? Okay, so now you're here again. Where are we? We're in the bathrooms. This is the pool house. Oh, that's what this is, the pool house. Well, it is the bathrooms, the toilet. Can we take a dump? No? Wow, it's so dark, I can't see anything. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, I can't see any. The walls are like black. Everything's black. What you guys are seeing is accurately what I'm seeing. It's super black. I could fall in this toilet right now and never be seen again. <clears throat> wow. Whoa, what's this? I wonder where Caleb is. The camper's photo. A recent piece of camp history. A younger Ryan enjoying his time at camp with Chris Hackett's kids Caleb and Kaylee. So maybe this is from a couple years ago? <clears throat> maybe. So I guess Ryan was a repeat counselor. A locker. A convenient locker just sitting here. One locker. <clears throat> what the fuck is that? This place was so different like 12 hours ago. Spooky drawing. Among the miscellany of these forgotten belongings is a scribbled drawing of a woman in the woods. Those ghost stories seem to have really left a mark. So not only do we have like what I what I'm guessing is werewolves, there's still the ghost, right? So we still have the hag of Hackett camp or whatever. And then we have we have so we have two different completely different creatures. Fucking with people out here. <laughs> what is going on? <clears throat> um, the villain has just done a super chat. Says, what's the creature? Vampire or werewolf or something else? I think the mutated creatures are werewolves. The, the ghost, I have no clue. I don't know how the ghost is going to factor into anything at this point. Or if the ghost is even real. You would think it's real because in the prologue it was sitting in the backseat of the car as they were crashing. Um, but I don't know if it's real or not. <clears throat> I guess we're gonna find out. Now, when the mummy shows up, that's when I'm out of here. I swear to God, if there's an Egyptian mummy in this game, I quit. I will not play the rest of it. <laughs> I will just give up and turn it off. <clears throat> I'm not kidding. What's in here? A nice dark room. What the hell? The shower room, I guess. What was the point of that? What about here? What is the point of this? It's an empty room. What about this one? Oh, tarot card, the moon. <clears throat> okay, I got a tarot card. So at least there was a point to coming in here. 
<clears throat> oh, I wanted to see it. The moon. The moon, how poignant. Tonight of all nights to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intu intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. There you go. <clears throat> all right. Wow. Someone just called David Arcan a dweeb. How could you say such a thing? Haven't you seen his, his deathmatch wrestling? He's the manliest of men. <clears throat> well, we got the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We got the tarot card. But I'm not sure what else I'm looking for. I don't I don't see anything else around, right? There's nothing on these shelves. Maybe something in these lockers here? No. I, I'm not exactly sure what they want me to do. These guys don't even talk. They just sit there completely mute. Right? Yes, Derek. David Arquette's in the family photo with his kids. You're seriously just supposed to yeah. move the heater closer? Okay. That's it. Thanks. Wow. Well, that was rocket science. <clears throat> hey. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like, uh, he was like a fish out of water. Right. Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too, at the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit, or scratched, or whatever. <laughs> Healing factor. He just kept moving <clears throat> around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. You're in a bathroom. Wash your goddamn face. Point. It isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... <clears throat> like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Abby? Yeah? Of course. Do you like me? <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Be calm. Nick. <clears throat> Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. It's such a... Oh, such a... <sighs> such... what? What the fuck? What's wrong with her hair? It's vibrating. It's gonna explode. Abby? Abby, uh, you're gonna go up in what? flames any second. Spontaneous combustion. Look at your hair. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why didn't you like me, Abby? You're different. Nick, I do like you. No. You don't, you don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? Nick doesn't believe you. Me the truth. I am telling you the oh, truth. God. I shouldn't have had a pick on What? You're not really very smart, are you? <laughs> wow. Stupid, Abby. Wow. Stop. What a nice guy. He's no, he's, obviously he's turning. It's fucking his mind. Oh, right off the bone. <clears throat> This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I Whoa! What the fuck? What the fuck? Whoa, Abby. What is wrong with her hair? <laughs> Holy shit! What is going on right now? The graphics are going crazy. What the hell? How are her bones not broken? By the way, I have become. 
Super douchebag. No one can defeat my douchebag powers. Spontaneous change. Oh, uh, she's dead. Wow. How was I supposed to know to shoot him there? <laughs> wow. Well then. Pieces of silver. <laughs> Abby came to Nick's aid when he attacked in the woods. Abby chose not to shoot Nick, and Nick transformed into a monster and decapitated Abby. Ow. That was disturbing. <clears throat> Thoughts Boja says she wasn't even holding the shotgun correctly in the photo. Lovers quarrel. Nick killed Abby. I got rewarded for a death. <laughs> well, it is what it is, I guess. <clears throat> Wow, they finally went back to the... Well, she went back to the campfire. That's right. Oh. Jacob got got taken by the hunters. If it was raining okay. all night. That campfire probably wouldn't still be so, burning. If I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go... The launch. Well, <clears throat> I guess I'm not doing so well at this point. That was my first death, so. Only one left. Oh, firecrackers. Path updated. Ah. Emma found a firework left over from the party near the fire pit, and if you remember. We saw a premonition where she can use that to get away from something. Maybe it's a creature? <clears throat> Maybe. Okay. <laughs> um, anything in the in these tents? Yes. <clears throat> a note. Writing stories again. I had no idea kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. We officially suck as counselors. Wait, this is the other half of that piece of paper we already found with the creepy ghost drawn on it, right? So I guess that's the text. Yeah. Kids let her home. It's the other half, because that other half is the, is the picture. Yeah, see? <clears throat> so, the camper that wrote this must have had a change of heart and decided not to send the letter home. Ghost stories are only stories after all. The letter matches the drawing in the pool house. Why was it torn up? Maybe there's something to this ghost story. <clears throat> yeah, same thing. Huh. Well, Derek says he's sad because that was his favorite uh, character, right? 
There you go. Um, that sucks. I know. She was one of the better... I say her and Ryan were the two, like, good characters in the game, right? And, of course, Nick was all right, and then he turns into a fucking werewolf. Hi, Mom. Can I read this? Hi, Mom. Camp is so fun. Mr. Hackett is reaching... No, teaching us to... It's so small, I can't read it. <laughs> it's tiny. And you can't zoom in on it, right? I'm gonna read it, but I have to get closer to the TV. Mr. Haggett is teaching us so much about nature and being safe in the woods. My friend Josh said he saw a ghost. I think he's lying just to scare me, but I drew a picture of her anyway. <clears throat> she looks quite angry. I think sometimes when people are angry, they're just sad instead. We're going sailing on the lake tomorrow. I can't wait. If your child wrote you this letter and then this was the picture attached to it, how would you react? <clears throat> Seriously. <laughs> How would you react? All right. Anyway, guys. Uh, let's carry on. I get the feeling a lot of people are going to die in my playthrough. Oh, well. 